Here are some uh, bumper parts for the front bumper. It's being cut out of 1 8 plate steel. This is the electronics driver for the plasma table and this is the cut file that is ready to go. You can see it right here. And um, there's two pieces. The 118 is um, a, a voltage that is uh, dialed into the unit but uh, it won't be utilizing it, that's just an extra field for information but what will be interesting is to watch the voltage just above it that says zero torch voltage. Um, I have yet to set up the torch height control system uh, but it reads the actual voltage coming through the plasma field and that's what allows it to travel upward or downward to keep a constant torch tip height above the working metal. And here is the one quarter plate steel that is um, laying. The cut tip is set at zero zero for this current job. This is the plasma unit down here with the green lights on. And the reservoir is now empty down below. It's 75 gallons. That's in the table for the water level. The water level being at the top, the reservoir is mostly empty. And the water is just used to keep the air and the working environment in the shop clean. Uh, it absorbs a huge amount of the particulate that is vaporized and cut out of the metal and it keeps the air really clean. The air itself needs to be really clean and there's a dryer unit in the blue vertical column and that blue vertical column collects the compressed air directly off of the compressor and um, allows um, an initial charge of um, water to condense out of the flowing airstream and drop to the bottom at the lower lower yellow valve just to the right of the regulators. So um, the unit that's doing all the physical cutting is this little box down below. It's remarkable how small it is. Too bad the cost is not um, as remarkable as well. It's a crazy expensive price. So um, the air is used as well to fill the water table. It pushes the water out of that blue reservoir into the table. And it only takes a couple pounds of, of, of air to create a fountain. And um, really to empty this entire reservoir into the table above, it takes about 0.2 or 0.3 pounds. So that gauge is actually just damaged very recently from probably just overpressuring it momentarily. So the cut job is ready to go and um, I'll push run.
Okay, so this plate, two of them, get cleaned up. And here's the bumper that I just built. And, well, I should have been more careful about reading the rules because this bumper is far too narrow. I thought that this bumper would work because I'd had years ago built one just like it and driven the other Jeep on the road for quite a number of years without ever having any issues. But, well, I wasn't aware. So what I have now are some extensions that attach onto that bolt plate and a hoop comes out and travels down and attaches above and below. So this is just a reinforcing plate to hold the hoop. There's a hoop on both sides and it'll be built of tube steel and um, then the bumper will be road legal. So that's the first cut. And um, I have four more components to cut. And it'll be cut completely out of this quarter inch plate. And the design work is 99% of the time. So here we are with two more parts ready and four more to go.